Let us understand function machine and enjoy a simple solution to difficult question. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. In this video, we'll discuss a very interesting question based on function machines. It is an important part of GCSE algebra. The question here is, find x when the input is same as output. We have three examples for you. You can pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent suggestions. Based on that, we have made this series on function machines. You will find extended examples to help you for any exam including GCSE. If you want to learn from me directly, you can always send an email on the email address given here. Most of my students have A star or excellent grades. Some of them have got honors of getting rewards like Akshit. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivani. Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulik Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Now, let us see how do we solve such questions. Well, we need to find the value of x, which is the input, when the input is same as output. That means both input and output are same. In function machine, we could say in function notation, x is equal to f of x. That is the condition. So now, there are three different questions. If the input is x in the first one, times 3 minus 7, we get some output, which is f of x. So we want input and output to be same. So basically, you get an equation which needs to be solved. It's not that difficult, right? It looked difficult earlier. So first thing is to understand the equation and then solve it. Perfect. So let's look into the simple solution which I always present to you for each of these questions. Let's begin with question number one. So the question number one here is we are given an input times 3 minus 7 and we get an output. So sometimes we write input as x and output as y. So that is the normal way of writing. Sometimes we write input as x, output as f of x. That is the function notation, right? So anyway, in one example, let's begin with x and y, and then we'll switch on to the function notation. Perfect. So how is x and y related? x is the independent variable, which is like an input, and y is the output. After sequence of operations are performed, so that is what a function machine is. In a function machine, Sequence of operations in order are performed on the inputs to give you a result, which is the output. So let's see what sequence is being performed on x. So if x is the input times 3, I'll get 3 times x here. And when 3 times x becomes the input for the next function, this, these are multiple functions operating on one another, right? When 3 times x is operated by minus 7, what do we get? We get 3x minus 7. And clearly, that becomes the output. So, we have y equals to 3x minus 7. Correct? So, that is how we get relation between input and output. Now, the condition given to us is find x when 
input is same as output, right? So that means I have to equate input to output. Input clearly is x, right? So input is x and the output is y, which is 3x minus 7. That's the output, correct? This is the output. So now you just need to solve this equation, 3x minus 7. Now, I can bring 7 to this side, we get 3x minus x is equal to 7. That means 7 is equal to 2 times x. And clearly, when 2x is equal to 7, what is x equals to? x is 7 divided by 2. You can say 3.5. Is that clear to you? So, x becomes equal to 3.5. So, when x is 3.5, Output is also 3.5. That is what we are trying to say, right? Well, it is a good time to check. So, let us also check the result. So, if I put 3.5 as the input and times it with 3, what do I get? 3 times 5 is 15, 5 and 1 carry forward. 3 times 3 is 9. So, we get 10.5. Now, from 10.5, if we take away 7, what do I get? So, 10.5 minus 7, which is 3.5. Perfect. So, we get the same output. Do you see that? So, we have done the first question. We have also checked. Perfect. Makes sense. Now, the concept is absolutely clear to you. I would like you to apply this concept and solve the next question. So, the strategy is learn concepts, apply them, master, and then go towards the perfection of getting the highest marks, right? Next one for you is here. I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Well, let's use the notation. So, this time, I'm going to use the notation. If x is the input, then f of x is the output, correct? Now, the operations being performed are what? To x, which is the input, we'll add 2. So, it becomes x plus 2. Now, when x plus 2 moves in, it has to be multiplied by 3. So, we get x plus 2 times 3. Now, that is the output. So, we can write down very clearly that f of x is indeed equal to x plus 2 times 3, right? Now, we are given the condition that input is same as output, right? That means f of x is equal to x, right? So, the condition given to us is that f of x is equal to x. So, we'll equate this. Perfect. So, we can write this as x equals to x plus 2 times 3. Now, I can expand and simplify. 3 times x is 3x times 2 is 6. Bringing the terms together, we get minus 6 equals to 3x minus x. Perfect. Taking to the other side, 3x minus x, you know, is 2x, and that is equal to minus 6. x will be half of minus 6, which is minus 3. So, we get x equals to minus 3. So, if x is equal to minus 3, in that case, that is also equal to f of x, right? So, in function notation, we could also write this as f of minus 3 is minus 3. You get an idea. So, when the input is minus 3, the output is also minus 3, you can check the result. Perfect. So, if the input is minus 3, then what is minus 3 plus 1? Well, minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. And when I multiply by 3, then minus 1 times 3 is minus 3. So, we see the output is also minus 3. Make sense? So, we have understood clearly. How do we solve such questions when input is same as output? What is the value of x? Perfect. Last question is here for you. It is a practice test question for you, right? So, let's practice. You can now pause the video, master the technique. So, we know that the input is what? Input is x. Better use function notation. And we know we are wanting to find the output f of x and then will equate f of x to x, correct? These are the steps involved. 
Let's figure out what is f of x. So, when you divide by 2, I get x divided by 2 and then we have plus 6. So, x divided by 2 plus 6 and clearly we Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. That's fine. Looking forward to see. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so, now we have f of x which should be equal to x by 2 plus 6. Now, both x and f of x are equal. So, we should solve for x, right? So, let's do the solution. Bringing x by 2 this time to the left, we get x minus x by 2 equals to 6. And that gives us what? That gives us x by 2 equals to 6 or x is equal to 6 times 2 which is 12. So, we know for x equals to 12, f of 12 will be 12. That is what this particular solution is. And you see how conveniently we are in a possible, we are in a position to write the solution in terms of function notation. So, in this video, you not just only learn a very difficult question solution based on function machine, but also it introduces to you the power of function notation. Perfect. I hope it makes sense. I hope you have also understood all the concepts discussed. Feel free to share your suggestions and comments. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be excellent. And in case you want to learn from me directly, you can send an email on the address given. Thanks for your valuable time. All the best.